If you are using element of forms, you are familiar with the message we get after submission. As you can see, it's in the bottom, only one line, limited design possibilities, can be easily missed. I have a site where I received multiple messages from the same person because he wasn't sure if the form was sent. So to prevent that, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a form that after submission it disappears and a thank you message appears instead, which is going to make it very clear that the form was indeed sent. So let me show you how to do it. We're going to start with a brand new page. The container structures we're about to do is very similar to the one we created in the unfold effect. So like there, I need you to follow my exact steps in order for this to work properly, okay? So we're going to start by adding a new parent container, direction row, we're going to go to mean height and change it from pixels to VH and give it 100. Next, I'm going to go to justify content and select center, align items and select center as well. Next, I'm going to go to the widget sub again, grab a container and drop it to this container. I'm going to go to content width and change it to full width. Make sure that this is set to percentage and give it 30%. Next, I'm going to go to the widgets tab. I'm going to grab an HTML widget and drop it into this container. The code we're going to paste later, don't worry. Next, I'm going to go to the widgets tab again, grab another container and drop it just above our HTML. I'm going to go to the navigator and change the name of the container to contact con. Next, I'm going to go to advanced and give the CSS class the same name, contact con. Next, I'm going to go to Style, Border, I'm going to add Box Shadow with a border radius of 10. Next, I'm going to go to the Widgets tab, I'm going to grab a form and drop it into this container. Make sure that the form is selected, go to Name, Advanced, and change the ID to your name. Now I'm going to go to Advanced, CSS Class, and give it the name of Form X. And we are done with the form part. Now let's create the message part. So I'm going to go to the widget tab. I'm going to grab another container and drop it beneath our form. I'm going to go to the navigator. I'm going to change the name of the container to thanks can. I'm going to go to advanced and give the CSS class the same name, thanks can. Now we can start building our message column. So I'm going to go to the widget tab. I'm going to grab a heading widget and drop it into this container. I'm going to change the title to thank you and align it to the center. Next, I'm going to go back to the widgets tab, grab a text editor, drop it just beneath our heading and change it to your message has been sent. Now I'm going to go to style and align it to the center. Next, I'm going to go to the widgets tab. I'm going to grab a Lottie widget and drop it just beneath our text editor. I'm going to select my Lottie. I'm going to go to settings and turn on loop. Next, I'm going to go to style and give it a width of 60%. And now we are done with the message part. To finalize everything, we need to go get the code from the code page. So on the code page, I'm going to scroll down where it says form to message. And here, as you can see, we have two codes, the main code, the jQuery code and a CSS custom code. So we're going to start with the main code. I'm going to click to copy code. I'm going to go back. I'm going to select the HTML widget and paste the code. I'm going to go back to the code page. Click to copy CSS custom code, go back, go to the navigator and make sure that the thanks con container is selected. Go to advanced custom CSS and paste the code. And now, as you can see, the effect is on and the message container is gone. Now, if you want to edit the message and make changes, all you need to do is go to the navigator, select the thanks con container, go to advanced layout, custom CSS, and add a character at the end, anything you want. I'm going to add the number one. And as you can see, it brings back the container. You can make your changes. When you're done, you're just going to delete the characters you added. And that's it. That's how easy it is to make changes. And now let's see if it works. The moment of truth. So I'm going to go to update and preview. I'm going to fill out the form and click send. And as you can see, the form disappears and the message appears instead. A very cool effect. But you know what's going to be even cooler? If we could customize it even more, meaning adding to this message the name of the person submitting the form. The name that he types here in the name field. And this way we're going to add a nice personal touch to our form. So let's do that. So I'm going to go back to my editor. I'm going to make sure that the thanks con container is selected. 
I'm going to go to advanced and to reveal the container, you know what to do, add a character to the CSS class. So I'm going to add the number one. The container gets revealed and now we can edit it. So I want to add another heading widget. We already have one. So I'm just going to duplicate this one. I'm going to go to title and change it to name. Next, I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to name the CSS ID and the CSS class the same name, custom name. Next, I'm going to go again to the navigator, make sure that the thanks call container is selected, CSS class, and delete the number one that we added before. Update and preview. Now let's see if it works. I'm going to fill out the form with my name, Benny, and click send. And now as you can see, the form disappears and the message with my name, Benny, appears. So that's how you turn your form to a thank you message. That's it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm going to see you next time. Peace.